welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. So, welcome back to another Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Whilst we continue battling with ARIA Operations Manager. Um, if you watched the last video, you will see how I deployed uh, ARIA Operations Manager 8.17. And um, as I mentioned in that video, the keen-eyed amongst you are probably thinking, well, why is he not just deploy 8.17? Well, in this um, uh, very weird world that we now exist in, uh, where Broadcom uh, has acquired VMware, um, it would appear that I'm not actually entitled to download 8.18. I'm allowed. I'm entitled to download 8.17 and everybody else, but for some strange reason I can't download 8.18. But I can download the um, the the pack, the patch. Um, so I'm going to do a in-place upgrade, if you like. Um, so I will put these um, these links um, in the description if you're battling with the Broadcom website like I am. Um, then this may help you. So I've already downloaded the uh, vRealize Operations Manager with underscore CP underscore 8.14.x to 8.18. So you can apply that pack upgrade to any previous version. Um, and I've seen a few issues uh, with earlier versions with it reporting that the size of the RAM disk is not uh, large enough and I've done a video on that um, and to how, how to resolve that issue I'll put that in the description as well for you if you come across that um, so I've already downloaded the uh, 4.82 gig pack file and what we need to do basically is go to the software upgrade option uh, within your VMware area operations administrator uh, console uh, so basically just put admin uh, after the IP address or the FQDN of your VMware Area Operations Administration uh, console or interface. And, uh, and it's interesting, I've just spotted it now that um, vSphere is dropped from, um, from that. It's, it just says VMware Area Operations Administration. And I'm wondering whether or not that VMware will become VMware by Broadcom. Area Operations Administration, or oh, I just did see on Discord earlier, uh, somebody suggested, is there a name change again of Area Operations because of the because of VCF? Um, so I'm just going to wait for this to to wake up, and uh, then we will apply. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to basically click um, Install Software Update. So I'm going to browse to my uh, pack that we've just downloaded, that four point something gig file. Um, install the pack if it's already installed, but it's not already installed, so I don't have to hit that button. Ignore pack signature. Uh, I don't really need to worry about that. So I'm just basically going to click upload. Now this this can you know, I've been done quite a few of these um, of late, and um, yeah, five minutes remaining. Um, some environments. It seems to upload very, very quickly. Other environments, it doesn't. Um, and I don't really know why. I was I saw one today when I did one. And I was actually quite surprised how slow it was. And I was trying to sort of kind of wonder, you know, why why it was um, why it was why it was slow. Um, so that that's a bit of a puzzle. Um, but anyway, so five hundred meg done already. Four minutes remaining. Uh, so I'll come back when that's uh, when that's done. Okay. So just as we um, Come to the end of the upload. I just wanted to come back and turn around and explain what actually happens at this point. Um, it now stages the upgrade. Now, um, I assume at this point it's probably actually unpacking um, that pack file, which is probably some sort of archive file, a zip file, a RAR file, or something like that. Uh, so I suspect it's probably unpacking that um, on the appliance. Um, probably doing some sort of MD5 uh, checking and verification. Um, eventually, once that's completed, and, and again, you know, it takes a while to do that, um, it will actually basically come up and announce the, the version um, that you've uploaded, and then basically it will give us an opportunity basically to turn around and say next. Um, after clicking next and apply, 
um, it's then all hands off and you will actually basically start to see some things happening up here in the software update um, with it installing and configuring uh, patches and updates and things um, but what we're really sort of kind of looking for is the version change we're currently on 8.17 and we're expecting to basically go up to 8.18 um, and of course more importantly um, the interface changes as well as I mentioned that it actually basically now announces that it's VMware by Broadcom. Um, I probably would normally, um, if this was uh, production and you were doing this update and you had a lot, and you know, you've been running ARI Operations Manager for a while, um, then I would have recommended that you actually basically do a snapshot uh, like we do with vCenter server upgrades so that you can roll back. Um, but as we haven't really actually configured anything yet, I don't really think that at this point, the fact that we've just deployed it in the last video and now we're actually basically updating it, I don't really see that there's any mileage really, to be honest, in this particular case of actually basically running a snapshot. You know, if this balks and breaks, uh, then we're just going to kill the appliance and we're just going to redeploy uh, 8.17 again and then do an upgrade. Um, so um, with that, um, I'm just going to sit here and uh, wait for that to complete. Okay, um, so finally, um, so this is what I was actually basically saying that it says the pack file has been ready to install. The title contains pack file details. Um, so basically there's the pack file name that I mentioned before. So this is VMware Area Operations. Uh, it's an upgrade for VMware operations and the version is 8.18.0242701. Um, pack file signature is valid. The update will restart the cluster for the entirety of the update. Yep, we're happy with that. So we're just going to click next. We're going to accept the agreement. Followed by next. Um, yep, followed by next. And we're going to click install. And then our attention basically will change to this area here uh, shortly, um, where eventually, I say, we get logged out of the admin interface. Um, and as it says there, you'll be redirected when the service is available. And uh, when we do get an opportunity to log back in again, um, if the cluster um, service hasn't actually started you will actually basically see uh, 1 to 14 steps um, being applied. I'm just going to see if I can actually click login and it says forbidden because it's actually basically working. So again with that um, I'll come back um, when we can log back into the admin interface and we can see the changes that have been made in this uh, particular update. I thought I'd just uh, jump back uh, in here um, as the screen changed um, so you can actually basically see here it's actually staking it's going offline uh, clusters offline uh, and it's installing the pack and we are offline now and the installation is in progress um, but it's interesting because be just before um, this screen changed um, I did actually notice that the um, uh, opening screen now it might have actually changed now because i noticed before that the actual banner hadn't changed from um vmware um and i was expecting to see a vmware by broadcom um uh no okay um maybe it will do that later on as part of the installation um because i still seem to have access in 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 various parts uh, so maybe i'm just um uh, I'm, I'm too quick. Um, okay, so we will just um, wait for installation to be completed because as we can see here, um, the cluster is currently not running. It's offline and no objects are being processed. And more importantly, the version's not changed here either yet. Uh, we're not running 8.18 at the moment. Uh, so I will uh, come back uh, when this is completed um, and we will log in uh, I've just just noticed that 
I'm just because I'm just actually come back and I've just jumped down on the chair prop and I've not sat properly at the screen. So I'm going to come up here. There we go. Need to be there. Uh, but anyway, so I will uh, come back when this is all been updated and uh, we'll log back into uh, ARIA Operations Manager and we'll do a little bit of configuration to add our VMware vCenter server and we'll do that. We'll complete that integration. Uh, obviously, we can't complete the integration with ARIA Operations for Logs yet because we've not actually installed um, ARIA Operations for Logs. That's in part 66 or 61, depending upon which series you are following. Anyway, so I will be back shortly. So finally, uh, our cluster status is online. We still got an installation in progress. Um, the version has been updated now, 8.18. Um, and I think we're just actually waiting at the moment for um, node address, cluster running online, objects processed, objects being collected, metrics. OK, so that looks OK. Um, OK. Upgrade to VMware area operation has been completed successfully. Please remove any snapshots on the VMware area operation VMs to avoid performance degradation. And as I was saying, uh, there's the, the change there to the branding. VMware by Broadcom appears there. Uh, so there's definitely has been an upgrade. So we're going to we're going to log in now. Uh, hopefully the password I've got is correct. And um, I'm just going to quickly uh, complete um, one of the the integrations that's required um so that we can actually basically start collecting metrics um so anyway so there's a currency which needs setting uh, just by clicking go to global settings so i'm going to set the currency here to uh, pound sterling gbp i understand set the currency currency set um, I'm going to go back to what's the other many of the out of box here. Yeah, OK, so some of the dashboards are now depreciated. So I'm going to go back to home. And just wondered there where my. Um, so I'm going to add uh, an integration, so I'm going to go to the repository. Um, and this is where, you know, we can add um, later, we will basically add the integration for VMware area operations for logs. Um, and I'm just going to add our integration uh, for vCenter server. So I'm going to basically click add account. Um, and I'm going to call this ee-lab. I'm going to specify our vCenter. I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to copy and paste it from here. Uh, we've got to add some credentials. So I'm just going to basically say SSO administrator, uh, which is administrator at PC address local. I think I typed that correctly. And I'm going to need to fetch a password for that um, out of. Oh, I didn't mean to click open and fill. Try that again. I just want to copy that password. I'm going to click OK. Uh, default collector group, I'm going to specify the VREL as operations collector area node one. I'm going to click validate connection. And that's probably going to come back me and host is not reachable. Oh, it would help. Let's try that again. I missed the. Uh... OK, so it's challenging me with the review and accept certificate. Certificate is unknown. Um, this is a default certificate, which is. Um, created by VMware. 
Um, and one of the things I have actually noticed is if that changes, then uh, you need to come in and review and accept that to begin with. So I'm going to say accept that. It's testing the adapter instance. It's tested successful. So now I can basically click save and it will save that adapter instance. And when that adapter instance has been saved, um, you will notice. OK. Um, yeah, now this is because this lab is actually registered with another VMware area operating registration. Um, this vCenter is already registered with another instance of the operation. The registration includes registry of web client users. Yes, to override the existing representation. Uh, yeah, OK, fine. So it's probably just going to break that um, registration with that um, instance. Um, so for the sake of this particular video, um, then then that's fine. OK, so that's now been done. EE Lab is OK. Uh, that looks OK. And one of the things that I've noticed, if you actually basically go back here, uh, you can actually basically start to see these changes um, that are being made here in in the appliance of objects being collected as well. So if you click home, uh, you can set your physical data center location, um, which is uh, vCenter accounts required to define a location. So we've actually basically set a VMware vCenter server. Um, so there isn't really any more to do at the moment um, because we're actually basically waiting for that data to come in. Um, and then we can actually basically start looking at the findings. Um, but of course, we need to add our area operation for logs to do that. So uh, come back for the next video in this, this series of putting all this together, really, so that we can start getting findings in our lab environment uh, to replace um, uh, VMware Skyline Advisor Pro 3.5. Um, and as I said, come back in and watch the next video, which is about the deployment of ARIA operation for logs. And we'll also basically do an upgrade in the next video of that file. So once again, thanks so much for watching and uh, good night and goodbye.